let's continue with some uh, more projects uh, which are implemented um, as SDN software defined networking uh, frameworks for uh, virtualizing the network functions. So we have uh, projects such as Open Daylight, uh, Open Flow, and uh, and more. So Open Daylight or ODL is basically uh, an initiative uh, from the Linux Foundation. It is supported by multiple companies uh, which are into the open source community. So the URL is opendaylight.org. Uh, open Daylight supports a layered architecture with integration points for the uh, network entities as well as for the uh, users through APIs. So if we look at the layered architecture, uh, on the top we have the application programming interface layer. Here we have uh, the open daylight graphical user interface. Example is Deluxe. Uh, we could also have third party applications or uh, we could have uh, the GUI based uh, emulator control such as Neutron which is from the OpenStack uh, community. Uh, then we have uh, uh, the Open Daylight APIs based on REST um, and uh, uh, NetConf and uh, the advanced uh, message queuing protocol. So these are different variants. This is the application layer or the API. Then we have the control uh, controller platform services and applications where we have basic uh, layer two functionality like uh, layer two switch, uh, tracking the host, which MAC address is connected against which particular port. Uh, then the switch manager and topology uh, discovery mechanism. Then in enhanced network services, we have VPN, virtual tenant network, basically uh, neutron manager, all these things, uh, which are none of our concern at the moment because these things would become uh, important when uh, implementation is carried out. Then network abstraction, uh, in order to understand uh, what entities are connected to the networks uh, uh, with what resources, uh, some uh, policy service has to be identified and implemented which classifies the network resources and network elements. Then we have the service abstraction layer which, Im which abstracts away the complexities of the underlying protocols. We have OpenFlow, NetConf, the classical simple network management protocol and so forth. Then we have the data plane entities, which are the forwarding elements like uh, uh, OpenFlow enabled devices, proprietary, open vSwitches and other physical devices. Now, this leads us to some interesting uh, terminologies like southbound and northbound interfaces. Southbound interfaces actually are related to various underlying diverse multi-vendor network topologies uh, and hardware. The northbound interface is where the user interacts with the with um, the open daylight framework so this is comprising mostly apis open flow is uh, in fact the the pioneering initiative or the pioneering project uh, for uh, implementing the network functions in virtualized way so it is the enabler or we can say the pioneer in stn solutions by the uh, open network foundation these days most of the um, frameworks or architectures implement ONF uh, to coordinate between data and control planes. Uh, and this helps the controller to spell out or define the flow tables on switch or a router known as the forwarding elements. Um, now this open flow also defines APIs, uh, which are available in many emulators like Mininet for defining the flow of traffic. I mean the kind of traffic which would be sent on to particular path and then uh, ensuring that the flow is adhered to. So we can see that here we have the uh, open flow block diagram, which is nothing but the abstraction between the control plane and the data plane using open flow APIs. And on the right hand side, we have the tables. Now these tables are uh, many. So we have the open flow switch, uh, that takes the uh, um, policies from the open flow controller and then the open flow control channel shares the updates or the new policies uh, from the controller to uh, be shared with the data. So the, the data path comprises the group table that is which entities fall in, in a certain group and then traffic metering 
policing and uh, uh, regulating and shaping entities are defined in the meter table. Uh, the uh, floor table essentially is nothing but uh, the uh, uh, floor table entries or the forwarding entries in every forwarding element. This eventually creates a flow pipeline. Again, uh, the resources or the material has been taken from, uh, from the book by uh, Packet Publishing, Software Defined Networking with OpenStack.